What is up guys and welcome back to another day at Whitley Auto Works. Today we're going to tackle the age old question. What's better, Rust-Oleum paint jobs or automotive paint jobs? Now I think you already pretty much know the answer. Obviously automotive paint jobs are going to be far and away superior to Rust-Oleum paint jobs. But a lot of you guys are looking to paint on a budget and I understand. I am the same way too. I don't have a lot of money, obviously. But hey, are you really saving money? That's the question I'm going to tackle in this video. To start off with, we're going to cover Rust-Oleum paint jobs. Now back in the day, everything was lead oil based. That's just a fact. So stuff like this was all that was available. Yeah. Over the years, stuff advanced, stuff developed. Urethane based paints, acrylic based paints, 1K, 2K, 8K, 2K24. Uh, <laughs> all, the paint selection nowadays is crazy it's it goes all over the place and it can be very intimidating a lot of people see rust-oleum paint jobs as very simple it's been widely covered on youtube over and over and over again and a lot of people just feel safe uh, starting with rust-oleum but are you really and are you really saving any money by not buying automotive the thing about it is guys when it comes down to it you're not necessarily saving money i can show you different ways that you can do paint jobs with automotive brand stuff and come out costing the same as the Rust-Oleum. And obviously your end result will probably be better. But if you really want to do it on a budget and you just want to go roll it on or you just want to spray it out through a gun, you can thin the stuff out with acetone. You can get a great finish with it as you've seen in some of my other videos. And if you haven't watched my other videos, Drop me a like in that corner and go check some out right after you get done watching this. But with this rust stuff, you can get a good finish. A lot of people say it's trash paint, yada, yada, yada. If you know how to apply it, it can be great. It can be cheap. And it can be durable. Uh, if you go back and watch my four-year review on my truck, I didn't even prime that thing. I just pretty much sprayed on rust guys, right over everything. And yes, it's got a few little rust through spots and stuff like that where things have come through but that kind of gives you a good idea of what this rustoleum stuff will do paint and primer all in one hey you know it's a great alternative if you just want to use the color that's in it or mix two quarts of different colors together to create your own custom color that works great and same thing with this other stuff guys this paint shop duplicate color stuff it's all right when you start buying this type of stuff though guys you're getting into that automotive price and what it is is Dupacolor sneakily come out with stuff like this to make you think, hey, automotive, I'm getting it, and it's already prepared for me, I'm to spray it. Yeah, but the same thing's available over there in Nason. Uh, anyways, what, back to the Rust-Oleum. Uh, what more can I really say about it, guys? It's, it's great. Like I said, if you see my other videos with the clear, you can put clear over it, you can add your flakes and pearls in it, and keep in mind, all that stuff I'm doing with flakes and pearls added in it into tractor paint and tractor clear and stuff like that, because that's primarily what this is used for, you can do the same thing with automotive stuff, guys. Uh, the guys that do like liquid wraps and dip your cars, it's pillable. I don't prefer pillable type stuff. I want to know my stuff's on there. I want to know something I can't vandalize it and just come and rip it up. So, you know, that's why I started experimenting with stuff like this. And at the time, I wasn't working at a paint store, so I didn't know all that I know now. For the DUI people that are just getting into paint and just want to play around with some stuff, this is a great option, guys, before we move over to automotive paint. Now, that leads me into the automotive side of stuff. rust -oleum is great. As it is, it's cheap. You can get a whole gallon of that stuff for about 30 bucks. And by the time you buy all your materials, you can get out, even putting a clear coat over it for 120 to $200, including materials and stuff like that. But, and that's a big but, you can do a lot of the same stuff with automotive guys. Um, a lot of people just don't know about the different types of automotive stuff you can get. Um, there's even stuff like Spray Max. I'll put up a picture right now where you can get bases or you can get single stage mixed up in a can. There's various different clears and it's pretty cost effective too. A lot of that stuff you can get a can of clear and a can of paint for about 60 bucks. And it'll go a decent way for a project, especially if you need to match an OEM finish. Now, 
Also, you can go with stuff like this. This is what I've been using a lot in this little clear can right here. This is basically bottom of the barrel automotive. This is called Fast Dry. Um, it's pretty much the automotive equivalent to Rust-Oleum. And you can get a whole pint of it for about 30 bucks. Um, overall, it's gonna spray out better. You can thin it out with Nason reducer and have a great finish, guys. If you know how to spray it and lay it just right, it is a little bit of a learning curve, so is the Rust-Oleum. But if you know how to spray it right, you can get a really great finish and you have a whole lot more to choose from color wise. You can do most your basic colors in that. The next step up from that is acrylic enamel, single stage as most people call it. It comes with a hardener additive and it comes with a reducer additive. And basically you thin it out, you add the hardener in it. It's pretty much the same as the tractor clear coat I've shown you guys in previous videos. And this stuff is a lot more durable. Uh, it's basically, if you go to Mako and get a paint job, that's what they're probably spraying with more than likely. And it does have a hardener agent in it, guys, so it hardeners like it's supposed to. It doesn't take forever like a Rust-Oleum or a Fast Dry. And I mean, once it's hardened, it's good to go. It's usually a, a day and you can drive it down the road and be fine. Um, obviously, the top of everything is 2K urethane, um, base clear. That is basically where you start getting into a little bit of money and, and not necessarily a whole lot too, guys. And another thing, I've used automotive clears over a Stolium the same way that I've used it over a base clear paint job or whatever and gotten fine results. Um, at the end of the day, the price difference between going with a rust -Oleum versus going with your entry level automotive stuff, it's like 40, 50 bucks, guys. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of a price breakdown before we end this video out. rust -Oleum paint job. You're gonna need the acetone with it. You're gonna spend 60 bucks. That's pretty much where you're at. And that's just for a gallon of this, you shoot it, mix it, don't add no clear to it, no nothing. That's the absolute cheapest you can get out. This stuff right here, I am not gonna cover. This stuff right here is a marketing ploy. It's somewhere in between all this and yeah, so that stuff, fast dry. Fast dry is about $30 a quart. So if you get four quarts, you're looking at $120. Not too bad. Obviously with this stuff, you're automotive grade so you can get factory colors. Your color selection is a lot better than, than spraying with the Rust-Oleum guys. Yes, it's double the price of Rust-Oleum. And yes, the quality is going to be close to the same, maybe a little bit better because it's automotive grade, but your color selection with this is going to be immensely better. And I would definitely say if you don't want to go with just a basic spray and shoot, roll on, whatever, fast dry would be your best bet if you want to save money. And also another thing you can look at is online where they sell the $100 gallons with everything, the kits. Uh, it's kind of the same way they let you pick your color whatever and it's kind of the same thing guys you might even get a discount on this type stuff if you know somebody uh you're looking about 100 120 dollars which is pretty much double the cost of a rust -Oleum paint job but in my opinion it's probably worth it now because if you start adding clears to this to get custom effects pearls that's preference but hey then you're getting over into this price range you know because that stuff even with the clear coat and everything else, you're not going to get out doing a custom pearl or stone paint job for less than 120 to 150 dollars. So that leads me over to this, the acrylic enamel, the Mako paint job. Um, for a quarter of this, is about the same as the fast dry type stuff, so you're about 120 dollars, but you also need this stuff right here, and you need the reducer to thin everything out. So with a full gallon of this equivalent to that, you're looking about 180 200 dollars this stuff right here a little bit more expensive this is base clear um obviously it can be much more expensive depending on the brand but this right here you can get out of it a gallon of it whatever you get out for about 220 dollars starting so it's about a 20 to 40 dollar jump over your acrylic enamel so you're not really saving a whole lot um it is what it is now 
Obviously, I'm not taking into account brands you're using of this stuff. Just kind of giving you an example of bottom of the barrel, 50, 60 bucks versus $200 on the lowest of the higher end stuff, base clear, you know. So that's kind of the jump, guys, for all this stuff. It, it's really not a big jump. And honestly, if you're going to paint your car with something you want it to last for five to 10 years, honestly, you know, let's spend an extra $100. Um, but like I said, if you watch my other videos, the stuff can hold up good too. So it really just comes down to preference. What your money is, what you want to do, and all the in-betweens. So basically, what I would say do, guys, if you want to, is go to your local Napa store or local paint store. I, like I said, work at a paint store. And get some prices. Look at some color books. See what they got. And just kind of evaluate that against the price of, say, your Rust-Oleum stuff. And really look at the finish you want, the longevity of it. Because if you want the best bang for your buck, you can go with entry level automotive stuff and be better off than going with Rust-Oleum paint jobs. Now, either way, you can get a great finish and you can get long lasting quality out of either. Which one you decide to go with is completely up to you. But that's my take, that's my point of view, guys. Um, that's kind of where I'm at with it as for right now. I kind of wanted to do a short video covering all this because I know a lot of people have questions. Uh, if you have any questions that I haven't answered in this video, be sure to drop me a like, drop me a comment, and I'll be glad to answer anything I can. Um, like I said, if you want to experiment yourself, go out and get you some base clear in a quart or in a pint because it comes in really small quantities and just try shooting some different stuff. Do the same thing with the Rust-Oleum. You can get it in little pints too and see what you like better. And just like I said, evaluate the cost and go from there. I hope this helped you and I hope your next paint job is awesome. I appreciate you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video.